just waiting to go live. We are live now. All aboard. Down and influence. Down and nation. What is that care? Hello, Makadi, Kunjani, everyone watching. In into Nonzi, Tendai, Tia, Mugwagwa, Ajayi. Where are you guys watching from? Where are you connecting from? Please let us know where you're connecting from. Today is going to be a very exciting day. You know, we just want to have fun. And I've got a very young man, our special guest today that we're going to meet later. So I just want to know where everyone is watching from, where everyone is connected from. Welcome to Ndawana and Friends. Saturday is Chumela Choo Choo. So I just want everyone to have fun today. Um, I can't wait for everyone to um, uh, get in there and get involved. And uh, someone was saying that Tizi is singing in. Well done, Tizi. <laughs> uh, thank you. Hi, Shumpa Kazi. Uh, watching from Essex. Thank you so much for joining in. We're appreciating that. Uh, thank you so much, Mama. Greetings, beautiful Moss host Tia and all. Uh, thank you so much for welcoming. I feel so special. And I'm so, so, so grateful to be here. And I just want to say a big, big, big thank you to my big sister, Ronika, for letting me be the co-host of this. I am so excited to be here. Like, thank you so much, sis Ronika. I'm so grateful. Uh, TZ is watching from Buluwayo, all the way from Buluwayo, just my neighbor, because I'm from Gweru, you know. So we're neighbors from Buluwayo, not too far. And my mama put is, is watching from Essex. Isha Goods watching from South End Essex. Welcome everybody. It's really nice to see twenty everyone at Panapa. So thank you so much for joining in. We're going to have so much fun. So in the meantime, I'm just going to um, I'm just going to share to share a, a small clip from our guest today. His name is Craig. So I'm just going to um, put in a small video for him, and then he will introduce to him after. So enjoy. Dawana and friends, Dawana nation, what is that care? Dawana and Gawangani Waki, Dawana and her friends. Hi, my name is Craig Sibanyoni. I'm 15 years old. I live in Pumla North in Blawayo. I go to Amtropis High School. I love to play soccer as well as singing, and I want to be a dentist. Now I don't know I'm going to be okay Hi there. So that's our guest. You wish you're going to meet uh, very soon, shortly. You, he will get to speak to you guys uh, in person and you, you can ask him anything you want to ask. Uh, but as of now, uh, I just want to, you know, talk about our library. And guys, you have to forgive me, right? Because today is actually my first day hosting this. So I haven't got all the library like, you know, my sister Ronika has because, you know, she's the CEO. So she has all this stuff. And so, but I just want to talk about some of the books. You can find them in the description box. So one of the books that we have uh, is um, the book called Tokovuka. You can actually find that book on sunrise.com. And um, I think it's also available on, on Amazon. I haven't got the hard copies with me uh, of that talk of Vuka. I will have it in the, in, in the future. And we also have my, my first Shona and Debele words. Um, uh, it's, I think it's by Yeye Svanda. And you can also find that one, I think, on Amazon. And it's also in the description box. And we have another book called Ngano Tinambuya Narudo uh, that can be found on South Orders. Or you can also get that on Amazon. That is by our Gogo Gladys Mapanda. 
And one of my favorite books that I've actually seen recently on Dawana was the um, the ebook that actually says the words. I actually really, really like that. And I'm actually, I'm actually purchased that one myself. I can't wait to get my hands on it. So, and also there's another book called The Mystery of God in Crisis by Julius Chinamo. It's, it can be found on Amazon. So get all of that to get your Amazon books and everything. And um, just reading some comments here. We are excited to have a co-host, Anditia Tendai. Yes, I am excited to be here. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And Tinashe said, yeah, I want to append my comments. And Mama said, we've got a dentist in the house. Uh, thank you so much, Tinashe, for that for that encouragement. I actually really need it. Thank you so much. So anyway, guys, I'm actually going to introduce our guest now. His name is Craig. So I'm just going to introduce him. Hi. Hi, Craig. How are you? Good morning. Wamukasei. Kunjani. I'm fine. Is that, is that how you say it? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. You know what, Craig? I'm so excited that you are here, at least because my Ndebele is not that good. So I've actually been learning my Ndebele from, let's learn the basics um, from the, this Ndebele book. That's the book that's been helping my Ndebele because I'm not very good at it. So I'm so happy that you're here. At least you get to teach me some Ndebele today, right? Okay, okay. okay Craig. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tinashe say, don't worry, Nasunova Wakugona. I can't wait. I'm so excited about that. Okay, so Craig, tell us a little bit about yourself. Can you introduce yourself to everyone that's watching? Okay. Uh, my name is Craig Sivanyoni, and I'm 15 years old. I live in Kumla North, in Blawayo. Okay. Uh, what school do you go to, uh, Craig? I go to Amthorpe High School. Okay. That's in Blue Way, right? Yeah. Ah, nice, nice, nice. So um, someone says, Ashumba Kasi said, hi, Craig. Nice intro video. Like your video was really good, for, uh, the introduction. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask you some few questions. We'd just like to get to know a bit more about you, Craig. So I'm just going to ask, which part of Zimbabwe do you actually live or did you, where did you grow up? Do you actually grow up in... Where did you grow up in? I know you said you live in um, um, Amflope. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I grew up in Blawayo, in Pumula okay. North. Oh, Pumula North. Pumula North. Pumula North. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's fine. So what is it like, uh, Kugara, uh, living in Pumula North? What is it like? I, it's good. It's fine. Okay. And where are your parents from? Oh, I don't know. You need to ask them. And I don't know <laughs> where do you guys come from? Where are you from? Because everyone have um a place they originated from. So I don't know if you have time, okay? Okay. Welcome, uh welcome on board South Waters. He said, Hi Craig, how are you doing? Um Okay, so what is your, your family totem? Do you know about totems? Yeah. What is your family totem? Lion. Lion. So in my language, which is Shona, we call it Shumba. Is that right? Yeah. So lion. What is What do you call that in, in Debele? Sibanda. Sibanda. Oh, yeah. okay. So lion, Shumba means Sibanda in, in Debele. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Actually, I I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Thank you for for that education, Mashumba. You're welcome. Okay. So you know things are, are a little bit different of, during this whole pandemic of of uh, COVID and everything. What has it been like reality in Zimbabwe life right now as a 15 year old? Very old. How are you coping? How are you finding things for Zimbabwe at the moment? Uh, 
Nitola like is into young ladies or isn't it? Yes, into any lazo. Yeah. Okay. Mama Ma put it say Shumba Sivanja in Jebele is Gu Gum Gungadini Gatawini. Dawini. Dawini, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Okay, so you know, growing up, when I was growing up in I grew up in Zimbabwe myself. I grew up actually in Gweru, which is not too far from Bulueyo. I'm sure you know about Gweru Ante. Yeah. So yeah. growing up is also we grew up playing my games like in the middle of the road, or we would play Toro, we play Pada, we play like ball games. That we didn't have any my mobile phones, Tantina, my iPads, Tantina, like TVs, Tantina, all of these gadgets. Um, we everyone, all the kids have at the moment. So, you were in your spare time. What do you do? What games do you play in your spare time? Uh. I play like I'm a yen balls and I'm a water games. Water games? Yeah. Can you describe a little bit more about the water games? Okay. So how like, do you play the water games? I will see like filling balloons with water. Okay. Yeah, and we, and we play volleyball. Okay. With, that you have water inside. Oh, so you filled up the balloon with water and then used yes. that as a volleyball. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's very interesting. Do you also use that, you know, when you're playing football, do you do you play, you know, when you're playing football, do you actually make it with papers and all of that stuff? Do you guys still do that? Yes. That's, that's, that's fun. I used to do that growing up, and I I miss all of that, all all of that, you know, that that kind of life in, in Zimbabwe. Okay. So, what subjects are you actually interested in, Kuchkoro, in school? I'm interested in science. Okay. In geography, as well okay. as history. As long as as well as what? History. History, okay. Oh, it's a very, very, it's a very interesting that you said history. Later on, we're gonna play a game, aren't it? And okay. it's actually it's based on history. So I'm, we're actually gonna be testing our viewers and also yourself how good you are at the Zimbabwean history. So I don't know what it is like in uh, Zimbabwe, but over here, cool UK, uh, in October is like a Black History Month. So we just tend to, you know, celebrate our culture, celebrate where we come from, you know, um, everything about ourselves, really. So it's a good thing that you mentioned that, you know, you are you, you want to do history. And Mama Putti said, you're a very intelligent young man. And Awana says, well done, Craig. You're such an engaging young man. We're really, really you know what, privileged to have such a talented young man as you, Craig. Um, okay, so moving on, I just want to ask if you speak any other languages apart from English and Debele. I can speak English, Debele, and Kosa. And Kosa? Yes. That's very interesting. So how do you say, my name is Craig Sibanda in uh, Sibanyoni in Kosa? Me na ibizola mi ndi Craig Sibanyoni. And that's Tosa. Yeah. How do you say that in Tebele? Ibizola mi ndi Craig. How do you say that in Shona? Zitara ndi nonzi Craig. Who's telling you on the side? No one. <laughs> Okay, that's good. That's amazing. And obviously in English. In English, my name is Craig Sivanyon. Well done. Oh, that's really good. Tosa, I would love to learn some Tosa one day, but let me start with Ndewele first and then I can, you know, move myself there. So apart from, I know you mentioned um, 
you mentioned vo uh, volleyball and there's one of your uh, things that you like to do. What are your hobbies? You know, for a lot of people in spare time. Yeah, I love playing video games as well as singing. A singing? Yeah. Okay. So what kind of music do you sing? N. All right. Give me something. <laughs> let us let us, our viewers, everyone, who I'm sure would like to know, you know, Someone that has that has four languages, you know, you're multilingual, you can sing, you can play volleyball. So I'm sure you have something that you want to share with all of us. Can you sing a little bit for, for us, please? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time when you're ready, no pressure. Okay. Dear friends, I'm leaving you for the train is passing by to take me with my Jesus just over there to the land of paradise where there is no surprise, no more sorrows, just happiness is there. Wow, well done. That's amazing. Thank you so much for saying that with you. Uh, hello, Uncle Julius Chinamo. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you so much, Craig, for that beautiful. You got a very beautiful song. Uh, thank you. You've very got a very beautiful song. Do, do you go to church? Do you are you are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian. Okay, well that's great. So do you go to, are you go, are you going to church now or what's happening? With COVID. Uh, yeah, I, I go to church. Okay, what church do you go to? St. Bernard's Church, the Roman Catholic Church. Oh, it's a Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. Okay, I, I grew up in going to uh, a, a Pentecostal church, so I know that's completely different to a uh, to, uh, Roman Catholic. Um. Uncle Julius Chinamo said, good job there, TZ. Keep it up, bro. We have talented in Blue Wayo. Uh, our guest's name is Craig uh, Sivagnoni, and TZ is his brother, I suppose, or uncle, right, that's joining as you. So they think you are, you are TZ, but you are Craig. And uh, Mama Puja said, a resounding wow to that melodious voice. Um, Maputi uh, Cindy, uh, okay, that's Uncle Julius saying hi to Mama in the chat there. Thank you so much for that, um, Craig. I really appreciate. So I'm going to ask now if you have any Ngano or Ingane Kwane. You know okay. what that is, right? Yeah. <laughs> did I say that right? Yeah, that's right. How did I say it? Ingane Kwane. Inga newane. Okay, so can you give us any inga nekwane that you have? Uh, you can say that in Debele. We are happy to hear from you. Our guests are all waiting to hear from you. So do you have any you want to give us? Okay, I have one. Okay, when you're ready, you can go ahead. Okay. Uh Wagutan <laughs> So, you know, I a 
yeah, yeah. Wagon Guti Ugushana, Unga and Zulu to Agumsis. Next time, now what is all pinned of discuss and go on? Wakasana was saving the lie. Wabe would pay the winter. That's the end. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Craig, for that. Um, really, really appreciate that. Even though I didn't understand most of it, can you just like briefly? Summarize it in English, what you were trying to say. Not all of it, just what is it about that you were saying? It's about when people are like wait, working. Yeah. You must not you must not stay. Okay. You must work as well. Right. Because at the end of the day, you'll be suffering. Okay. That, that, that sounds very knowledgeable and very reasonable. We we're gonna hear what uh, what people say, what people thought of that um that Ngani you just we just gave us. So for the sake of the people that just joined us, I'm just going to sh to show you another clip, an um a video of Craig one more time for those that are just joining us late. I'm just going to show you a little video about our special guest today. Now on a Hi, my name is Craig Sibanyoni. I'm 15 years old. I live in Pumla North in Blawayo. I go to Amtropis High School. I love to play soccer as well as singing, and I want to be a dentist. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us from wherever you are. And if you have just joined us, um, please let us know where you're watching from. We would like to know Kutimurukona program, Yedi Muriku, Pindawana, and friends. So, Craig, it's time for us to like play a game with our guest. So, like I said to you earlier, Paya Paya, um, I, I, I chose history only because you were what you're interested in history as well, Handiti. So it's going to be history about our country, our country, Zimbabwe, man. Um, just hold on a second, let my comments. So my mama put, I think she's just explaining uh, Ngano, you told earlier, and she said, lazy man who didn't plow crops while others toilet, toiled. Then when times of hunger came, he starved and started going from village to village, asking for food, but his neighbors didn't share their food with him. The following year, he plowed and sowed crops on, on time and harvested well like his neighbors. That's the summer of Vingano. That's ex exactly what you said. Thank you so much, my mama put it, uh, for, uh, for explaining that to some of our guests that don't understand Develi. Thank you so much, Craig, for that. It's such a, a, a beautiful Ghana. We appreciate you. Okay. So, um, Craig, thank you so much once again for being our special guest. So, like I was saying, now we're going to play a game and would like everyone that's watching with us to join in. So, I'm going to ask questions about... Um, so the the history we're gonna do is about our our country Zimbabwe, and then I will let our guest aunt give us the answers, and then if they don't know or if they get it wrong, then Craig, you give us the answer. I'll give you the chance to answer it. Okay, all right. So the first question is, how was Zimbabwe known between between nineteen sixty five and nineteen seventy nine? What, how was Zimbabwe known? Like, what was the, you know? Shumba said, I am ready, let's go. So we're waiting for the for, for answers from our guests. Uh, Shumba Kazi said Rhodesia, and what do you think, uh, Craig, before we, we give them the answer? See, she said Rhodesia. Yes. Ah, it's the correct answer. Correct, that is correct. Well done, Shumba Kazi. Uh, next question, how was Zimbabwe known when, when, when it was part of the Federation of Rhodesia and 
Nyasa land. So how, um, how was Zimbabwe known when it was part of the Federation of Rhodesia and Nyasa land? There was another name that it was known as, what is it? Mama Changa said South Nyasa land. What do you think, um, Craig? Ah, it's correct. South Nyasa land. I'm afraid that's incorrect, but Uncle Julius got the answer right. It was called Southern Rhodesia. Thank you, Uncle Julius. <laughs> it was called South. It was called Southern Rhodesia. <laughs> Uncle Julius got it right. Okay. Next question: When did Ian Smith make Universal Declaration of the Independence? When did Ian Smith make Universal Declaration of Independence? Mama Chenga said 1961. Anyone wants to challenge that? Shumpa Kazi said 1980. Craig, what's your answer? Ah, uh, honestly, I don't know that one. That's okay. That's fine. Uncle Julia said 1980. I'll wait for one more answer and I'll give the right answer and see who is correct. So we have uh, 1961, 1980 as the answers so far. And I'm afraid it's incorrect. Mama Chenga, however, was close. It was 1965. So when did Ian Smith make Universal Declaration of Independence? It was in 1965. Craig, you need to remember that because that might come into your exam. Okay. All right. No, thank you so much, guys, for your answers. Moving on to the next question. Which part won the elections in 1980? Which part won the elections in 1980? Ondawan and friends put in the answer, they say 1965. I don't know if because they heard our answer or not, so, but yeah, we're probably going to have to give it to them 50-50. So our next question was, which part won the elections in 1980? And Uncle Julius gave us the um, answer as ZANU-PF. Do you know about this one? Um, do you know about this one, Craig? Yeah, it's ZANU-PF. And the answer, oh, Emilia Mbanje said ZANU-PF as well. And you are both correct. Mama Chenga, Shimbakadze, and Uncle Julius and Emilia, you are all correct. And our guest Craig is correct. It was Zanu PF. That's correct. Moving on to the next question. How was Harare known back in the day? Or what what was the what, what was it used to be called before? Harare Ainzichi in the past. Our guests are putting on their answers. Mama Chenga said Salisbury. Shimbakazi said Salisbury. What do you think? What was Harare used to be called? It was called Salisbury. Salisbury. Okay. That is correct. Well done, Craig. Well done, Mama Chenga and Shumba. That is correct. It used to be called Salisbury. Okay, moving on to the next questions. Anyway, Craig, do you some of these questions do you come across them uh Poning history classes? Or what sort of history are they teaching you? What? What what sort of history are they teaching you? Is that the same questions that you, you kind of come across in, in your history class? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The teachers African history and European history. And European history as well. Yeah. 
Oh, that's interesting. Uh, when I was in school in Inib but when I, when um Panandru Gushkoro, I did not um do very well in history. So I can in the up and I could drop uh, the lesson. So I didn't actually take my history class. I wasn't very good at it. Pandaka is in like secondary school. So what what year are you in in, in school at the moment? At 15, you are in grade what? I'm in form two. Form two, okay. All right. So you're gonna be writing form four in the next two years. Yes. Okay, you'll be fine. You will do really well. <laughs> okay, so our next question. Which language has the largest number of speakers in Zimbabwe? Shumba said, I love learning African history. We have such a rich heritage. That is so, so, so true. Like when I was preparing for this, I realized that we've got so much, honestly, like very, very rich heritage. Some of the things that I came, I came, I came across with when I was doing my research was amazing. It really blew my mind off. You're absolutely right, Shumba. So yeah, thank you for that. Um, my question was which language has the largest speakers uh, in Zimbabwe? Mama Twinga said Shona and Shumba said Shona. What's your answer? Yeah, it's Shona. That is correct. It's Shona. Shona language is older than English language. I yes. didn't know that. <laughs> wow. That, that's that's very, very good to know. I didn't even know that that Shona language was older than... Oh, that's good. Thank you, Shumpa, for that knowledge. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, next question. Which of the... Uh, which of the following falls is in Zimbabwe? It's like a multiple choice. We have Jog Falls, Niagara Falls, Victoria Falls, of or Beacon Falls. It's Victoria Falls. That is correct. I'm sure everyone knows that, right? Shumpa, Shumpa Kazi, you're correct. Mama Shenga, that is correct. Thank you so much for your answers. Against we, our next question, against which country did Zimbabwe play its first cricket test? I know that Zimbabwe, that's one thing we're very good at. We're quite good at cricket. So the question is saying, Kuti, against which country did Zimbabwe play its first ever cricket test? Do you play any cricket or do you watch it? Sorry, not play. Do you watch any cricket when? No. no. So you don't know much about cricket like that then? No, oh, that's okay. Let's see what our, our viewers will say to the answer. We'll just give them a few seconds to see if they can get the answers right. So Shumpa said, there are many waterfalls in Zimbabwe. Everyone visit Zimbabwe if you can. I absolutely absolutely agree with that you know everyone needs to be in zimbabwe so regarding our question which against which country did zimbabwe play its first cricket mama chenga said it was new zealand and shumba said it was new zealand uh craig do you wanna give your own thoughts or your own answer no no, that's fair enough. And unfortunately, Mama Chenga and Shumba, you are incorrect. The correct answer is India. I actually remember very well watching that match very, very vividly. Like I remember watching it. So unfortunately, it wasn't New Zealand, it was India. Okay, so our next question. Who was the first captain of Zimbabwe cricket cricket team during 1987 World Cup? <laughs> now when I said copycat, <laughs> 
So the people that don't know about cricket, you probably would not know this this answer. Who was the captain of Zimbabwe cricket team during 1987 uh, World Cup? You know what? I'm going to give you guys self orders. Congratulations, you said India. I don't know if you had me before, if you had the answer first, but yeah, you're correct. It is India. So with this one now, who was the first captain of Zimbabwe? cricket team during 1987 World Cup. I'm going to give you a multiple choice and then you can guess and then we'll see who's going to guess it right. It's a guess guess question, I suppose, because no one... Oh, Shumba said it's Andy Flower. So my multiple choice is uh, first Andy Flower, Grant Flower, John Tricos or David Hutton. So Andy Flower, Grant Flower, John Tricos, or David Uton. What do you think, Craig? What do, what do you want to go for? John Tricos. John Tricos, I'll take that. Okay. Anyone anyone else have a different answer before I give out the, the correct answer? Shumba said Andy Flower. And I'm afraid, Shumba, that is incorrect. And our guest, Craig, got it right. It was John Trichos. Well done, Craig. Well done. <laughs> well done. That was really good. Okay. Uh, can everyone hear us, by the way? Can you guys hear it? Am I too slow? Or because I'm not sure if I'm getting the response, because I'm getting the response a little bit later. I'm not sure if we are on the same frequency here. Can you just let me know if we are in sync, guys? Those uh, who are tuning in, can you just let me know? Dawana said, Well done, Craig. We can hear you perfectly. Thank you, Mama Chinga. Okay, then that's fine. You can hear us. Then we can move on. Then uh, the next question that I have, last but not least, which is the highest mountain of Zimbabwe? What is the highest? Which is the highest mountain of Zimbabwe? Everyone should know this, I think. Which is the highest mountain of Zimbabwe? Let's talk about our Zimbabwe. Designs by Winnie says, hello friends. Welcome designs by Winnie. Welcome Tindawana and friends. Thank you so much for joining us. Mama Chenka gave us an answer and she said it's Inyanga which is the highest mountain of Zimbabwe. Any more answers? Any more answers, anyone? Craig, do you know the answer to this? Yeah, it's Mount Nyanga. Mount Nyanga. Well done, that is correct. Well done, Craig. Well done, Mama, Mama Chenga. And Shumpa said, I don't know. So it's called Nyangani or Inyanka. So well done, Craig. And well done, Mama Chenga. Do you have any questions you want to ask Craig? Do you want to ask our guest about our Zimbabwean history? Uh, I want to ask that, when was Zimbabwe colonized? Everybody heard that. Well done, Mama Putti and Craig. When was Zimbabwe colonized? Our special guest, Craig, asked, is asking everyone, when was Zimbabwe colonized? Correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we wait for people to uh, um, give us their answers. When was Zimbabwe colonized?
and no googling please don't use google <laughs> Mama Chenga said it was colonized in 1846. Shumpa said it was colonized in 1890. You obviously know the answer, right, Craig? You know the correct answer, auntie? Yeah. Okay. So we have 1846 or 1890. Craig, is that correct? It's... 1890. All right, it's 1890. Unfortunately, Mama Chenga, that was incorrect. Uh, the right answer is 1890. Well done again, Shumpa. Shumpa, I would like to meet you one day. I think you really, really know about your Zimbabwean history and the culture. That's really amazing. I can learn so much from you because I want I want to learn more as well. Since I, I, I sort of regret who drop a history when I was home for, you know, so but I'm, I'm, it's, it's never too late to learn anything, so um, I'm gonna uh, be learning some more. Alright, Craig, one more question you'd like to ask our guest before we move on to the next. Uh, no. No, okay, that's fine. So, um, what job would you like to do when you grow up? I know you mentioned you want to be a dentist, right? Yeah. Yes. Why do you want to be a dentist? Uh, I've seen more people suffering for, from teeth. Yeah. Okay. I want to help them. Right. So for you to be able to become a dentist, what do you what grades do you need to achieve science i think oh is it just i think it, science and um do you have to do chemistry and biology and things like that yeah okay so are those some of the subjects you are taking at the moment yes Okay. Well, that's great. Well, I wish you all the best, and I know you'll you do well in your dentistry. Thank you. Well, so, would you would you would you open your own dentist shop, or you're going to be working, or what's the future plans as as a dentist? There's so many there's, there's so many people watching. So you never know who's out there, you know. So you need to sell yourself to something about your dentist. So go ahead. Uh, I want to start with working and then I'll build my own dent dentist shop. Okay. So where will you be working? Ah, here in where Zimbabwe. Would, in Zimbabwe, Buluwayo? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's great. That's fine. And my mama Putty said, may your dreams come true. Okay. So we're, we're almost um, getting close to the end of our show. Um, we're not there quite yet, but we're almost there. There's one thing I would like to ask. Do you have any advice, Craig, that you want to give to any other kids, especially those in diaspora? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just want to say, stay away from drugs. Yeah. Okay. Stop drug abuse. Okay. Yeah. Stop drug abuse. Yeah. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about the drugs abuse and stuff? Is it something that you see in, in Blue Whale? Is it something uh, that's on your mind? Or why, why do you say that? Uh, just... Lava, I went to an uh, Abangai school. Like they start smoking marijuana and abusing alcohol. Right. You can explain to them in Dabele the reason why, if you know any of reason why they should do, they should stay away from drugs. Just you can just let them know, like you know, speak in Dabele and just let them know to understand. 
uh, ama drugs ayalimaza kakulu. And aku uenza, utunu uzenza, uzenza izi ndezi, izi nye koraiti, izi nye kambini kelei. So you can see the CAD ama drugs. Thank you. Thank you so much for that a, a great advice. Coming from such a young man, only 15 years old, that's just amazing, you know, to actually hear it from you because I know a lot of young people, they actually start at around your age, they decided to use drugs and stuff. So for for that coming from you, that is very, very inspiring. And I, I hope other young people of your age who are watching, they will learn from that from what you've said and you know take that advice on board so thank you very much craig for that advice thank we really appreciate you and um mama chenga said that's a great advice from such a young person that wanna say stay away from drugs powerful message uh that is so true um auntie wumi said well done young man you have a bright future ahead and god bless you thank you so much auntie wumi for joining us um we really appreciate everyone that has joined us um, and everything. So I just want to, if there is anyone celebrating their birthdays, when is your birthday, uh, Craig? Uh, it's on 10 October. 10 October. Also, your, your birthday is coming up soon. Yeah. Well, happy birthday in advance. So this is the time, actually, we would like to wish everyone a happy birthday that celebrated their birthday this week or if you have celebrated your birthday in um the month of september funny story is uh today is actually my niece's birthday actually let me start from the beginning of september and the woman she just joined us is it was a birthday on the 16th of september and my other sister dami was a birthday on the um 5th of september my niece today is a birthday today Happy birthday, Shalom. And I've also got my son. He's going to be three tomorrow. And my other niece is a birthday on Monday. So we have like a lot of birthdays in September. So for everyone that celebrates that celebrating their birthdays this week, we want to wish you a happy birthday. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday. If you've celebrated your birthday in the month of September, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. Is there anyone you want to wish a happy birthday, Craig? Uh, that celebrating everyone. everyone. Okay. Yeah. You can can you you can you can say happy birthday. I know you've got a very beautiful song, and we have our own special uh, happy birthday song that we are going to play for everybody. But I know you have a beautiful song. Can you just sing a happy birthday to everyone that's celebrating their birthdays in September, please? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, that is so beautiful. Thank you so much, Craig. We appreciate that. And here is a birthday song for everybody that's celebrating their birthday in September or this week. Here is a very special song to you from Dawana. Enjoy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, dear friend. Happy birthday to you. We wish you many more. We wish you many more. We wish you many more, dear friend. We wish you many more. We want to wish a happy birthday to all our friends if it's your birthday today or it was your birthday a few days ago. Toti makoro koto ne gore ija. Senza mso pengo mnyago mucha. Yay! Thank you so much everyone for joining in. 
uh i just want to a lot of people are saying a lot of happy birthdays there so we have mama chenga said happy blessed birthday to all who are celebrated this week emilia says happy birthday to your niece thank you so much and happy birthday to your son thank you jawana said it's my super niece chiremba Dr. Minister of Enjoyment, Chef President Hannah's birthday today. Oh, happy birthday, Chief Chiremba, Dr. Minister of Enjoyment. Happy birthday. It's your birthday today. I hope you enjoy your day today. And Mama Chenka said, happy blessed birthday, Auntie Wumi. Happy blessed birthday, Micah, Hannah, and everybody. We wish you many more glorious years ahead in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Mama Chenga. And, um, Dawana said it was uh, doubt day watch Moya's birthday on Wednesday. Happy birthday, um, Dewa. And also it's, it's my gorgeous nephew, Oga Micah's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Auntie Wumi said happy birthday, September celebrants. Uh, thank you so much, Auntie Wumi. And Mama Chenga said thanks a million, uh, Craig. You were an awesome co-host. We enjoy having you. Thank you so much, Uncle Craig. And Shumpa said, happy birthday to everyone who celebrated birthdays. Oh, my days. It's Shumpa's birthday today. We want to wish you a very happy birthday, Shumpa, today. Happy, happy, happy birthday. What a day to actually enjoy your birthday today as me, as your host, and a special guest. It's crazy to have you singing for you live you are indeed very special and I hope you have enjoyed um, this show and you continue to enjoy your show, your birthday today. Ishe Good says happy birthday. Uh, thank you so much for joining Ishe and Cynthia Masiwa said my mother-in-law Nyasha's birthday, she is special to me. Oh, happy birthday, mom. Uh, mother-in-law of Nyasha, happy birthday to you. Uh, and someone said, Isha, was that you, Craig? It was such a blessing. They say, thank you so much for um, uh, that best the message you put across to everyone. So before we actually round up, Craig, do you have any one last thing that you want to say to our guests that have been watching, that have been with us uh, today? Is there anything you want to say, last few words that you want to say? And feel free to let them know in Debele when you're ready thank you Nyabunga. to not end up. <laughs> <laughs> okay is there anything craig you want to teach me in Debele that i should take today and never forget that i will always remember craig taught me this i want you to teach me something in Debele that i will always remember Life is a blessing and impilo isibusiso. Impilo isibusiso. Yeah. Life is a blessing. That is so beautiful. Life um impilo isibusiso. Yeah, impilo isibusiso. Impilo isibusiso. Yeah. Thank you so much for that, Craig. I will always remember that. And I just wanted to say thank you so much, Craig, for your time. Um, it's my first time being a course and you've been really amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for all the wise words that you've given to the young ones and for our guests as well. Thank you for being such a wonderful person. And Shumpa said, Craig, you are a king. Keep shining. We're blessed and learning more about you. And Mama Puti says, Siabonga, Jahelile, Unkulunkulu, Avalawe. I know she says something about God, Unkulunkulu, right? What did she say in English? <laughs> she says, Siabonga, thank you. Jahelile, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Jahelile. Yeah, Jahelile. Yeah. Means like good boy, good boy. Okay, thank you, good boy. God bless you. I think that's what she says in English. And uh, Shumba say, Auntie Tia, you were amazing. You made my birthday extra special. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Shumba, 
for being part of us and thank you for all the knowledge that you've taught us about Zimbabwe. We really appreciate you. And I'm afraid we're actually running out of time. We've got a few minutes left. And before we go, I just want to recap some of our books that we have. Uh, so we have um, Tokovuka. You can find that on sunrise.com. My first Ashona and Javele words by Yeye Sivanda that can be found on Amazon or all the list is all in the description box. And ebook that says the words out loud. That's actually very good for people that are don't understand that what likes to learn and hear what the book is saying. That's a very good book to have. And we also have The Mystery of God, of God in Christ by our Uncle Julius Chinamo. You can find that on Amazon. Thank you so much, Ndawana, for putting in the um the, the uh, website where we can get some book. You can actually get it on www.ndawana.com. If you want to get any books, you can actually get it from there. And um, we just want to say thank you so much for everyone. My favorite book has been this one. Let's learn the basic Debele. There's also, uh, I think, another version of Shona. And there's also another the reason why I don't have the Shona one is because my son likes it. So he's got it at the moment, but I've got two of them. So this is for me, it's been really amazing Try to learn Mandebele. So um, I just want to say to everybody that has joined us today, thank you so much. Uh, Mama Chenga said Jahelihle also means gorgeous boy. So she was calling, she was saying to you, thank you very much, such a gorgeous boy that you are. So thank you so much to everyone that has joined us today. We appreciate your time. We appreciate everyone. And I pray that as you go into this new week, God will bless you. And I pray that God will meet all of you at the point of your needs. And to you, Craig, continue being a king that you are. And like one of the aunties say, the dreams will come true. And I pray that your dreams to be a dentist will definitely come true. Okay. You know, yeah, we'll, I will continue to pray for you. And I hope everything that will go away for you. When it's time for you to write your form for um, level, all levels, I pray you do well so that the dream of becoming a dentist will definitely come true. And what really touched me today was the fact about you giving advice to other teenagers, like other 15 year olds, other young boys there about not using drugs. That is such a powerful, powerful message. And thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you so much for, for sharing all the information about you. We really appreciate you, Craig. Thank you so much. And Uncle TZ, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you. Thank you everybody for joining. You can find um, more information, um, about our program or what we do on www.dawana.com. Uh, some of our books, you can actually go to the description box to get all the information about the books. And last but not least, Auntie Ronnie, the CEO of Dawana, I just want to say a huge thank you for giving uh, me the opportunity to co-host. I had fun today and it was lovely to meet you, Craig, as well, and I'm Gotizi. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity. So thank you so much, Auntie, Auntie Ronnie, for this, um, for this uh, opportunity that I have. And I shall see you guys soon. If my boss allows me again, I will be back soon. Um, and also, the, some of the books, you can actually find them on www.southorders.com. So yeah, and uh, Mama, uh, Mama Chenga said amen, Shumba said amen. And Uncle T to say, thank you so much, Auntie, and everyone. And, and Uncle T, Tinashe says, everyone be blessed. Thank you so much. Have a blessed week. Thank you so much, Craig. Thank you, everyone that has joined. We really appreciate you. Be blessed and God bless you all. Sending lots of love to you all. Bye, everyone. Okay, bye. bye. You definitely are part of a hosting team, Antitia. Thank you so much, Dawana, for the opportunity. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone.